What's up, guys? Uh, is that a good emotional start? You know, the classic sigh at the start of the video? <sighs> Welcome to this beautiful day. It's currently raining. Maybe you could hear it. I'll show you. Because it's raining, you know, it got me in one of those, uh, one of my feels. Uh, I want to talk about something maybe a little bit more serious. I want to give you guys some insight into, you know, myself. Maybe you connect with it, especially because the channel is starting to grow. The videos are starting to pick up a little bit more. So for the, the new folks, if you're watching this, first off, thank you for even coming to this channel. What I want to talk about is something that's uh, real close to me. What happens and how does it feel when all the work you've put into something just amounts to nothing? And it's a topic I believe that a lot of people can uh, relate to. You know, you put so much time, effort into uh, whatever the product and it gets nowhere. And that's it's just what life is you know you can't you can't blame anything except for yourself and uh that's what i want to you know talk about how how does it how does that affect me now this isn't necessarily about my channel we have uh 54 subscribers as of this which is amazing to me uh i did youtube for a year and i got about 19 subscribers and then to you know finally get past that 20 mark it was amazing for me and uh, honestly it's something i'll never forget but i can talk about uh videos that you know i put a lot of work in and don't get anywhere and then a video i might put absolutely no work in you know fucking does like three times better <laughs> than the video i spent six hours on most recently that i could account to that is uh the Elden Ring speedrun that I did. If you watch that video, it's it's one of my favorite videos I've made. If you don't know, I basically I challenged myself to uh, beat Elden Ring as fast as I could. And the edits for that video, I did like voiceover work, try to edit it heavy, and it, it got good views. It got like 120 something, I believe, which is good views. But then I make a video from a, a terrible zombie game I found on Steam for free with my friends i edited it in about an hour and when i put it out that video gets three times the amount of recognition than an Elden Ring video i tried real hard for <laughs> and it uh it hurts but can't blame the youtube algorithm it does what it wants but in a creative aspect me being an artist first before i did anything else it's, uh, it's tough when you know Something you didn't think you put your heart into does better than the thing you put everything into. But you just have to accept, you just have to accept the fact that people are going to like the thing that you do. It's, it's knowing that even though the Elden Ring video didn't get as many views, maybe people, you know, enjoyed that more than watching, you know, a shitty a zombie game. This, a zombie game was fun. It was funny and I could understand why, but as long as people found both of those you know entertaining to watch that's really what matters and you can't let the uh, the numbers get you down it's not necessarily about uh my youtube channel when i talk about this i relate it more to my uh clothing company if you don't know i have a clothing company called acids you know since the first drop it's really only gone downhill in terms of uh selling anything back in the day like last year when I was selling, there was some drops. I didn't even sell a single item, <laughs> you know, and that that's that it is a lot more painful. It's it's I would say it's slowly starting to get better. That is more where I relate to, you know, creating something, uh, you know, from the ground up, putting so much work into it, money into it and it amounting to nothing right now. Not that I'm going to stop because I love doing it. The first reason for anything I do is because I love it, not because I want to become something big. You know, I don't even want to become something big. I want my, the clothing to be something big for people, not not the person behind the clothing. I don't really care about, you know, the fame 
and I only care about money in the sense that I could live fine in my own lifestyle. So it's it's hard when it was it was hard when making a drop for hours and then you so you sell nothing. You know, you put a lot of work and time into it and what does it get you? Zero. Now it's, it's never really zero recognition is as good right now as selling something as long as people know that you're still making clothing as long as people understand or as long as people find out about your clothing and keep watching it that's really what matters at this point for me but not selling anything is still like it feels like i believe that i'm a failure when it's not the case i have, I have a lot of people that you know support the clothing the youtube even my art but at the end of the day you know you're gonna be your your most critical person and it's it's hard to, to brush that away but just because it gets harder and harder there was you know big people you know started from nothing and started out worse than me and got somewhere and those those kinds of people they give me inspiration to but those kinds of people they give me inspiration to keep on working towards uh, my goal of you know being able to create something bigger than myself that goes for for art too you know is that a fucking ant on my desk what the fuck get the fuck out of here and i've been doing clothing for a lot longer than youtube uh i think i've done youtube for almost two years now i think in two months or three it's gonna be two years i've done clothing for about four five years now see the numbers you know not increasing just staying the same or even losing numbers it's tough it's this disheartening especially on youtube because i'm so small i know when i lose you know a subscriber and every time i'm like fuck what what you know i need to improve either you know my my attitude when i make a video when i edit a video i need to improve something to you know get out there more <laughs> that's uh that's it's the battle that you have to do creatively you know it's never for i think for artists it's a uh, it might it's probably never going to be as good as you want it to be but really the thing i i want to push is if somebody has smiled looking at the thing you're creating then it was not a failure you at least made somebody happy to see what you've made whether that be your mom your dad brothers sisters cousins close friends regular friends distant friends anything and that's that's really what you you should hold on to to, to stay uh, positive and keep believing that you're doing this for a reason you're doing it because somebody is going to like it eventually so you should continue and never stop so what i i guess what i'm saying is uh if you believe that your work is amounting to nothing trust me it's not there's always somebody that enjoys looking at it don't think that you're a failure just because the numbers aren't what you want them to be or the numbers you did now are becoming less than the numbers you did you know the the thing that you put out before because eventually you're going to make something that's going to topple over everything you've ever made and then after that you're going to make something else that's going to topple that you just have to you just have to get to that point to to find it to find what it is yeah uh not this is kind of just a short video i just want to talk uh to to you anybody watching this video if you're struggling with you know believing your failure in the things that creating i i want to try to try to help you and uh, get you through continuing on there goes my fabrice thing fuck <laughs> improve yourself improve your work because eventually you're gonna get somewhere truly beautiful and uh yeah uh thank you guys for watching this video it's just something i wanted to talk about you know the rain got me feeling kind of different <laughs> but it's uh hold on i'm trying to find out a way to close this <laughs> thank you guys for listening it's been your main man chris and i will see you guys in a better video bye
I really want some Taco Bell now though. I'm gonna go get some Taco Bell, Taco Bell.